In our previous video, Dr. Zayas and his men were trying to destroy the Statue of Liberty, so that no trace of humanity's power would remain. But after arriving at the site, they discovered something else, the remains of a giant ape, which caused them to rethink the very foundations of their society. Dr. Zayas and his men embarked on a journey across the sea in search of answers beyond the Forbidden Zone. This journey eventually led them to the dreaded Skull Island, the home of the Kongs. But perhaps, the apes will learn an even more hurtful secret, the existence of another kind of human. As perhaps, in the Planet of the Apes universe, there are more intelligent humans besides mutants than we saw in the other movies. And we could see this type of humans in the film Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Want to know more? Then stay tuned to this video. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome. To the Oasis Geek. It was the 20th day of Dr. Zayas's journey. A few hours earlier, they had fought a giant squid and creatures they had never seen before. Zero was worried because Cornelius almost lost his life, but they managed to get close to the island. Ursus's men were clearing a path on the island for the scientists, cutting through the plants and trees, trying to find clues to the origin of the giant ape. The first discovery they make is an ancient rock temple. Cornelius is excited because he says this is proof that there is intelligent life on the island. However, Dr. Zayas says that the creators of this place could be people who no longer exist, because it seems to be a relic. It's a very old place. But Cornelius discovers a drawing, where he sees a giant ape and some short followers. Cornelius realizes that they are in the right place, and that the giant ape came from this island. Cornelius gets scared, and tells Zira that they must leave this place. He is very scared, because the danger that killed the giant ape could do the same to them. However, different carnivorous plants begin to attack them. Ursus's men save Zayas, who cannot believe all the dangers they find in this place. They run escaping through the forest, getting deeper and deeper into the island, until they finally reach a cliff. Here Cornelius, frustrated, is regretting having come to the island, but they see something in the distance that takes their breath away. The entrance to a temple, where there is the stone figure of a giant ape. So they decide to go down to that place. But getting down to the temple was not easy. They were attacked by creatures they had never seen before. Prehistoric creatures. Ursus's men prove that they have great skill with weapons and manage to protect the scientists and their superiors, fighting against these creatures as the apes approach the temple. This is where they begin to question whether or not to enter this place, as they do not know what may be inside, but come to the conclusion that if it is a temple for worship, it will not be so dangerous. As they question the implications that their beliefs against humans and apes were wrong, they begin to be attacked by something else. Ursus's men received arrow wounds, and out of nowhere, they saw humans riding horses and carrying spears. Quickly, Ursus's forces were trapped by the human power. This means that at this time on the planet of the apes, there is another human civilization and they are not savages. They have language and organization. Zira mentions that their language might be even more complicated than theirs. The humans take Zira and Cornelius and take them to the storyteller, a human expert in other languages, and who might be able to make sense of why these apes were speaking. Meanwhile, Zayas along with Ursus were under arrest and planning how to escape. Zira and Cornelius were taken to the city of the natives, where the natives bowed to them in reverence. 
These natives spoke English the way Taylor did, something that amazed Zira and Cornelius. This was evidence that the humans who had been in contact with this island might be the same ones who had sent Taylor. Zira is taken to a place where there are relics of the people who have traveled to the island. The American flag, chairs, items from different eras, and even radios can be found here, proving that other people from different cultures have visited the island long before the fall of mankind to the apes. In other words, the virus that affected mankind never reached Skull Island. While they are showing Zira around the city, an alarm begins to sound, and they are told that the time has come. It is time for a great feast. The branches of the forest begin to break, and something giant is approaching. Cornelius, Zira, and Dr. Zayas, frightened, watch as a giant ape arrives. A King Kong has come to eat, and Dr. Zayas reaches out to touch it. The idea that there have been other civilizations of humans, which escaped the extinction of mankind, is something that may be addressed in the next film, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. In the new installment, there is a new character, a woman named May, whose origin is unknown, and it is possible that if there are any people left alive in this universe, they could be hiding on a separate island. Perhaps May comes from an island similar to Skull Island, a place that was not affected by the simian flu. The interesting thing about this comic is that it also shows that there can be a coexistence between apes and humans. Because unlike the Planet of the Apes movies, in the Kong movies, this ape is always fighting for humanity. And perhaps this is what the lawgiver really wanted to convey to the apes. It is believed that in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, we could see the beginning of the lawgiver and how he created the ape religion, where it is said that God created both humans and apes to live together in peace. Although these comics are usually published to create their own stories, which do not have to contribute much to the main movies, in the case of Planet of the Apes comics, too many secrets of this universe are kept. So if you want to know what happened after Dr. Zayas extended his hand to King Kong, stay tuned to this channel, as we will be continuing this story. And for more videos of the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.